Hello everyone. I'm Luis Leon. I'm a product manager on the identity team. Today, I'm here to talk about how you can delegate Azure World assignments with constraints. So what's the problem we're trying to solve here? So let's look at Dada, who is a contributor in a subscription, and Joe, who is a VM contributor in the subscription. Dada wants to authenticate with Azure Container Registry from Azure Kubernetes Services. And Joe wants to create an access virtual machines using an Azure AD and Azure RBAC. Well, Dada, since she's a contributor, she can create Kubernetes services on Azure. She can also create the Azure Container Registry. But then when she's trying to integrate the AKS cluster with the um, Azure Container Registry to pull images, She's not able to do that because she needs to create role assignments. She needs to assign some roles to the managed identity. So she needs the owner or user access administrator role to be able to do this. This is the same for Joe. As a contributor, as a VM contributor, Joe can create VMs, right? But Joe cannot create role assignments to be able to access the VM using Azure AD. He needs to be a VM admin login or VM user login and have permissions to create these role assignments. So what can Dara and Joe do? Well, now they need to go and find Alice, who is the owner or a user access administrator in that subscription, and ask Alice to create these role assignments on their behalf or grant them the owner or user access administrator role. But these roles, the owner and user access administrator roles are very high privilege on, on Azure RBAC. So Alice wouldn't be or will be very reluctant to just give that away. But what can Alice do is she can assign data, the user access administrator or uh, the role-based access administrator role, and then constrain what roles and to what principles she can assign. So in this scenario, we only want data to assign the contributor and reader role and only two groups, right? That's the only thing we want data to do. So let's see how we can do this in a demo. Here we are on the Azure portal on the subscription. Now we have uh, the access control blade. We're going to create a role assignment for data so that she's able to create role assignments for the contributor and reader role to only two groups. So on the top left uh, of the screen, we click on Add, Add Role Assignment. We're going to select the role that uh, we want to assign to data. So in this case, it's a role that has permissions to create role assignments. So we select the role-based access control administrator. Now we select the principal data in this case. So we click on Select Members Data. Select. Now we click Next. Here we need to add the conditions to that role assignment. So we click on Add Condition. We have some options in here. Uh, we have the options to limit what roles that I can assign, limit what roles that I can assign, and to what principal type, so user groups or service principles, and limit what roles that I can assign and to what specific principles we want her to be able to assign those roles. So for this demo, uh, we're going to have the uh, what roles that I can assign and to what principal types. But if you need more advanced configuration, you can always use the Advanced Condition Builder for building your own conditions. So we're going to click on Configure. We're going to select the roles that data can assign. In this case, is the contributor. We select contributor and we select reader. We click select. Now, to what principal types? Groups. We select groups and now we click save. We click save again. Great. We click next and we're going to review that we're assigning data the role based access control administrator role that has permissions to create role assignments. But we're going to constrain or apply a condition to that role assignment so that data can only assign roles to the contributor and reader role and two groups. So we're going to click Review and Assign. 
Great, now we have assigned the role to Dara. So now let's switch to Dara point of view and see how she can create role assignments. Great, now we are on the Azure portal, but we are logging as Dara. So we're gonna try to create role assignments. So we go to the top left uh, on the screen, click on Add, Add Role Assignments. So you can see that Data sees something different uh, from Alice. Data doesn't see all the Azure RBAC roles available. She can only see Reader and she can only see Contributor because those are the role that she's able to assign. So I'm gonna click on Reader, click on Next, now I'm gonna select a member. So if you remember, data can only assign roles to groups. So I will expect that when I click on select members, I can only see groups. And here are only the groups. So I'm gonna select group one, select. Now I'm gonna click on next and review. So data is assigning the reader role to group one. Click review and assign. Great, now we can see how Dada can um, create role assignments in a constrained manner. So you, as an organization, you can uh, enable, empower developers and um, application teams to manage access to their subscriptions in a constrained manner. So thank you for uh, being with me today, and I hope to see you in another occasion.